Okay, let's uh, talk about CHGS. I went from making $1,300 on this trade in a matter of hours to $10. Uh, and that's how quickly it happens with penny stocks. Uh, and I was prepared and watching. So, you know, it's just a matter of proper execution. You can't always win. And uh, you can learn. And that's why we're going to break this down. This is a one-minute daily chart. Okay, so this is just today's price action. You can see, you know, that it was up in the, you know, 368 range early on. I had my sell in at 372. I really thought it would push early on to the $4 range. So I, I felt 372 was conservative. Unfortunately, it pulled back immediately. Uh, more profit taking, a lot like the uh, gap yesterday. And to see that, we'll go to a 60-minute three-day chart. All right, so here's the big volume day on news, which was yesterday morning. And uh, I waited till it pulled back and picked up shares in the 330 range. I knew it was going to spike again. It was just a matter of time. And it did. You know, and there it is. 368. Had my order in at 372. Opens at 363. I should have adjusted. Should have took it at 360. Would have been a really nice profit. Uh, but I missed it. You know, and that happens. Go back to the one minute today chart. And uh, you can see, you know, one minute, two minute, three, four, five. You know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the first ten minutes were already down to 343. I believe the bottom there was 343. Yeah. So it closed that ten minute market 343. Uh, you know, should have sold on the pop here, but I really thought it was going to rebound through the 350s, and uh, it looks like 350 has been resistance ever since. So live and learn, you know. But the the bottom line is, when the profit becomes available, you take it and then you move on to the next trade. And I missed that today. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm human. Uh, I'd like to think that, you know, I could have executed better. Uh, so I'm trying to learn from my mistake. I would rather have $1,000 right now versus $10. And I'm sure anybody uh, that's listening to this would agree with that. So here's where I sold. And some people ask me why I sold so quickly. And the bottom line here is I missed my opportunity. Uh, I knew there would be a pop. The pop occurred and I missed it. So once what I believe is the catalyst is, is gone, you know, I, I move on. And I'm not willing to take a loss once I already lost a thousand dollars. And that's the way I look at it. I don't look at it as it will return, it might return, it could return. I look at it as it did what I thought it would do and I missed it. And now I'm about to turn something that was really good into possibly something that could turn really bad. The good news is it turned up from this range, you know, turned up from support, and now it's trading, you know, just below 350, which appears to be pretty solid resistance. Um, you know, I think there's still a good trend on this one, but I wasn't willing to risk, you know, taking a loss when thinking about whether or not it'll go back up. So that's how it worked out for me. Hopefully you can learn something from this. Uh, I know a lot of you locked it in upwards towards 350 and some are probably still riding it. Congrats to you. And, uh, you know, I got 10 bucks, so I'll buy a pizza tonight. <laughs> Take it easy.